Welcome ladies and gentlemen, we open Monday Night Raw with one of our women's qualifying matchups for Backlash. The sixth woman elimination matchup is going to be headed by Bianca Belair versus Lita. One of these women will be filling the final spot for that women's world championship matchup. Lita already with the spin kick out of it. Bianca Belair on the offense already with the military press drop into a beautiful moonsault. She recovers. Bianca Belair alley-oop sends her away. But Lita looking to recover with a Russian leg sweep and Lita just looking to stomp a mud hole in on Bianca Belair. Bianca tried to use her weapon of choice. It was that ponytail. But Lita catches her in her tracks and spikes her with a jackknife. Oh, and that time Bianca Belair just stomped her right on her neck. And look at this now, right to the side of the head is the drop kick from Lita. Oh, and Bianca Belair dropping her right down the knee into a Saido suplex. Lita's, Lita's certainly getting a good bit of punishment on Bianca Belair. Reverse twist of fate. Be and it looks like Lita is ready to put the nail in the coffin with her signature. Lita Salt to go to backlash, but Bianca Belair moves out of the way. Catches her with a beautiful spear. Oh, and a glam slam. But the superplex might be able to take out Bianca. Lita with the DDT into the leg drop. Is she going to get it? Yes, she is. Lita will now be going to Backlash to compete for the Women's World Championship. It's not easy, Rob. There's just too many superstars and too much to take care of as general manager. Yeah, man. It really does blow. Good, I do. I'd maybe get an assistant. That could work. I think I might have a better idea. I might have to make some calls. That new championship needs someone new to announce it at Backlash. We move back to the action as one half of the Raw Tag Team Champions, Carl Anderson of the OC, will be taking on the gold standard, Shelton Benjamin. And off to a, back, off to a start already, Carl Anderson, Shelton Benjamin, gets caught with a knee. And Shelton coming back with a kick to the gut and then a roundhouse belly to belly to follow. And Carl Anderson and Luke Gallows have their big matchup with the Street Profits at Backlash for the World Tag Team Championships. And Shelton Benjamin has that matchup with Chad Gable where they go will be going one-on-one. -on -one. Oh, wait a minute. Now Carl Anderson, big spinebuster span, just spiking him down to the mat. And wait a minute, speak of the devil, Chad Gable, as Shelton Benjamin rolled to the outside, Chad Gable looking to get involved in this matchup, and wait, whoa, Shelton took a shot at, at Chad, and it looks like he's gonna get in pursuit of Gable, and as Shelton comes back to the ring, suplex into the ring apron, gun stun from Anderson, and this matchup's gonna end. Carl Anderson with a beautiful victory. I'm not just a spot holder in this match. Many have already doubted me just because of who I am. And at Backlash, I'm going to prove them wrong. That championship was only a championship when I held it. For right now, no one holds it. And Mommy's going to dominate the playing field. When I broke my leg, I was scared I'd never walk into the ring again. And at Backlash, I'm going to walk out as Women's World Champion. This is my opportunity to deliver some toxic shock into the Raw's women division. And you can guarantee that in San Juan. I'm not going to sit down and just be treated like some little girl. You don't even know what I'm going to be capable of. Ha ha ha! Ah, Kevin, I thought you would have known by now. You're never supposed to cross me. We fought for it all at WrestleMania. We clashed with Jericho being at your side. And I hope that when I stomped your head in, you had a change of mind to step into Backlash. I gotta admire your determination for wanting to keep your pride and continue to fight me. Kevin Owens is nothing more than a weak soul looking for his next paycheck. And it's time to show him who the boss really is. Seth, it takes more than a stomp in the concrete and a car windshield to put me down. Have you not seen the things I put my body on the line for a championship for? Do you not know who I am? I'm Kevin fucking Owens. You don't even know half of what I've done to feed my family. And as a fellow father, I thought you would understand. But you wanted to put me on the sideline and try to keep that title and money away? I will take great pleasure in returning the favor at Backlash.
Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to have a full uh, match card video for you guys, but just a little preview on the Raw side. We will be seeing Chad Gable go one-on-one -on -one with Shelton Benjamin for the first time ever at Backlash. Then we will be seeing the World Tag Team Championships being defended by the champions, the OC, as they go one-on-one -on -one with Montez Ford and Angelo Dawkins of the Street Profits. And not to mention the Intercontinental Championship will be also defended. The Scottish psychopath Drew McIntyre steps into the ring with main event Jay Uso. And then big matchup implications. Six women walk into San Juan. One will walk out as the inaugural women's world champion. And then the main event at Backlash, as we saw earlier, those two have gotten so personal. The World Heavyweight Champion Seth Rollins defends the title against Kevin Owens. It's time for the main event of this evening, ladies and gentlemen. As we saw earlier, Drew McIntyre and Jay Uso will be going one-on-one -on -one at Backlash. But tonight, they are going to step into the ring as tag team partners. As main event, Jay Uso tags with the Intercontinental Champion, Drew McIntyre, against Dominic Mysterio and Damian Priest in a no disqualifications matchup. Damian Priest already looked like Dominic, already trying to get the weapons out. McIntyre just kicking that, kicking that table right into the face, and now it looks like Priest and McIntyre are just getting handsy with the weapons. He throws a chair away, and look at this now. Priest back suplex drops. McIntyre on his head and he's got a chair but McIntyre shuts him down quickly and it looks like now Jey Uso looking to get even more extreme whoa bad positioning there could have went right through the ladder oh and double team maneuvers oh and look at that Dominic Mysterio saving his tag team partner double team maneuver on Jey Uso springboard from Dominic oh but that just sends Damian Priest sky high and now McIntyre catches Dominic right in the face with a Glasgow kiss and a neck breaker from Jey Uso. But Priest wraps that chair around the head of Drew McIntyre and just right into the gut. But now Priest with a flatliner right onto the chair. And now, oh, McIntyre with a power bomb of his own. And it looked like Dominic tried to grab that chair. But McIntyre stops him as Jey Uso flies over the top and takes down Damian Priest. But now Dominic looking to get the upper hand south of heaven on the Drew McIntyre. And that's not it. And no, oh, bad position there. McIntyre gets booted to the outside. And look at this now, oh! Oh no, this is bad, oh! Dominic Mysterio stopping Jey Uso and saving his tag team partner. No, he does not as he goes crashing through the ladder. Jey Uso, Jey Uso going Uso crazy and Damian Priest flying over the top rope. And there goes Dominic Mysterio through the table and a Glasgow kiss. But it looks like this matchup is gonna end right here, right now. And McIntyre setting it up. Oh, Damian Priest on the outside with a low blow, but McIntyre hits the Claymore. One, two, that could be it, no. Damian Priest breaks it up and he grabs the chair. Claymore with the chair right into the face of Damian Priest. Is that going to be the end? Drew McIntyre and Jey Uso defeat the Judgment Day. What a win going into Backlash, but are these two going to be able to clash for the Intercontinental title at Backlash? We'll see you next time.